project in differential calculus. Our topic is angle between two curves. In order to measure the angle between two curves, we measure the angle between the tangent to the curves at that point. And that is obtained by the formula below. Tangent theta is equal to m sub 1 minus m sub 2 all over 1 plus m sub 1 times m sub 2 where theta is the angle between the two curves and m sub 1 and m sub 2 are slopes or gradient of the tangent to the curve at that point of intersection. How to get the angle between two curves? Step 1. Find the point of intersection. The point of intersection is the point where the two curves will meet each other. Step 2. Find the slope of the equation. Note, the slope is equal to the derivative of the equation. M is equal to the derivative of Y in respect to X. Step 3. After getting the slope, use the formula tangent theta equals to M sub 1 minus M sub 2 all over 1 plus M sub 1 times M sub 2. Substitute the value of the slope. Example. Find the angle of intersection between the two curves xy plus y equals 1 and y cubed is equal to the quantity of x plus 1 squared. Solution. Consider the given pair of two curves above. xy plus 1 is equal to 1 and y cubed is equal to the quantity of x plus 1 squared. The first thing that we need to do is to get their point of intersection by solving the system of equation. The first equation is xy plus y, y is equal to 1. We will factor out y in the equation because y is common. So the equation will be equal to y times the quantity of x plus 1 equal to 1. Then we will divide both sides of the equation by x plus 1 then the, our equation will be equal to y equal to 1 over x plus 1. Substitute the value of y to the second given equation. Our second given equation is y cubed equal to the quantity of x plus 1 squared. We will substitute 1 over x plus 1 to y so our equation will be equal to 1 over x plus 1 cubed equal to the quantity of x plus 1 squared. So our equation will be equal to 1 over the quantity of x plus 1 cubed equal to the quantity of x plus 1 squared. We will multiply both sides of the equation by x plus 1 cubed. So, our equation will be equal to the quantity of x plus 1 raised to 5 equals to 1. We will get the fifth root of the both equation. So, our equation will be equal to x plus 1 equal to the fifth root of 1. The fifth root of 1 is equal to 1. So, our equation will be equal to x plus 1 equal to 1. We will transpose 1 to the other side of the equation so that will leave us with x equals to 0. Next, we will get the value of y. Our y is equal to 1 over x plus 1. To get the value of y, we will substitute x our x is equal to 0. So our y will be equal to 1 
over 0 plus 1. That will leave us with y equals 1 over 1 or 1. The point of its intersection of the given two curves is 0 and 1. Consider the first given equation of the curve xy plus y equal 1. Next, we will take the derivative on both sides of the equation with respect to x. By implicit differentiation, we have xy plus y equal to 1. We will get the derivative with respect to x. So our equation will be equal to the derivative with respect to x times the quantity of x, y plus y equal to 1. We will equate the equation to 0. So our equation will be equal to x times the derivative of y with respect to x plus y plus the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 0. We will transpose y to the other side of the equation. That will leave us with the derivative of y in respect with x times the quantity of x plus 1 equal to negative y. So we will divide x plus 1 to the both sides of the equation and we will get the derivative of y with respect to x equal to negative y over x plus 1. The slope of a curve is equal to the first derivative of the equation of a curve with respect to x. In this case, derivative of y is, with respect to derivative of x is the slope of a curve. To get the value of the slope of a curve at their point of intersection, substitute x is equal to 0 and y equal to 1 at the equation. So our equation is equal to the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to negative y over x plus 1. We will substitute x is equal to 0 and y equal to 1. So our derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 1 over 0 plus 1 times the quantity of negative 1. So our equation will be equal to derivative of y with respect to x equal to negative 1 over 1 or simply negative 1. The slope of a curve at their point of intersection is equal to the slope of the tangent line that passes through also at their point of intersection. Hence, our derivative of y in respect to x is equal to m sub 1 and is equal to negative 1. Consider the second given equation of a curve. y cubed is equal to the quantity of x plus 1 squared. Take the derivative on both sides of the equation with respect to x by implicit differentiation. We have y cubed is equal to the quantity of x plus 1 squared. Our equation will be equal to the derivative with respect to x times the quantity of y cubed equals the quantity of x plus 1 squared. So our equation will be equal to 3y squared times the quantity of derivative of y over x equal to 2 times the quantity of x plus 1 with respect to the derivative of x times x plus 1. That will leave us with 3y squared times the derivative of y with respect to x equal to times the quantity of x plus 1. We will divide 3y squared to the both sides of the equation and it will leave us with derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 2 times x plus 1 all over 3y squared. The slope of a curve is equal to the first derivative of the equation of a curve with respect to x. In this case, derivative of y with respect to x is the slope of a curve. Next, to get the value of the slope of a curve at their point of intersection, substitute x is equal to 0 
and y is equal to 1 at the equation. So our equation is equal to the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 2 times the quantity of x plus 1 all over 3y squared. We will substitute x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 1. So our equation will be equal to the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 2 times the quantity of 0 plus 1 all over 3 times 1 squared. Our equation will be equal to the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 2 times 1 all over 3 times 1. So it will be equal to 2 thirds. The slope of a curve at their point of intersection is equal to the slope of tangent line that passes through also at their point of intersection. Hence, the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to m sub 2 or equal to 2 thirds. Therefore, the angle between two curves at their points of intersection is tangent theta equal to m sub 1 minus m sub 2 all over 1 plus m sub 1 times m sub 2. Our m sub 1 is equal to negative 1 and our m sub 2 is equal to 2 thirds. We will substitute those values to the given equation that will leave us with tangent theta is equal to negative 1 minus 2 thirds all over 1 plus the quantity of negative 1 times 2 thirds. We will combine like terms and our tangent theta will be equal to negative 5 over 3 all over 1 minus 2 thirds. And that will leave our equation with tangent theta equal to negative 5 over 3 all over 1 third. So we will cancel 3 and that will leave us with tangent theta equal to negative 5. We will transpose tangent so our equation will be equal to theta equal to our tangent negative 5 and our tangent negative 5 is equal to 101.3099. And that concludes our tutorial about angle between two curves. Thank you for watching and we hope you like it. Again, this video is presented by John Christopher R. Santos and Jason V. Celiona of DFCS-CS Second Year Block 2.